Welcome to State Television Campaign, a Western Armenia broadcast for today. The 20th session of the Council of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. On the diplomatic platforms, we are continuing the mission started more than 100 years ago. Didia Markosyan. The anniversary of the death of Bogos Nubar Pasha. The thoughts voiced by the dictator of Baku are opposed to progressive thoughts and universal values. A record book on Armenian issue in genocide archive. Rich history and traditions, the reference of the famous Italian periodical to our country. Armenian youth chess players are the sole leaders in the European Championship. On June 24, a regular session was held of the Council of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. Welcoming the attendees, Ms. Lydia Markosan, the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, first congratulated everyone on the occasion of the 8th anniversary of the ratification of the Treaty of Severus. Then Ms. President added, Hard work and efforts were needed from us during years to ratify the Treaty of Severus on international platforms and to make recognizable the existence of the Republic of Western Armenia. First of all, I would like to congratulate Mr. President Armena Gabrahamian, who laid the basis of the government of the Republic of Western Armenia. The Armenian diaspora, the Armenian people living in Western Armenia, the members of the government of the Republic of Western Armenia, and the members of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. Today we have ambassadors and consuls in different countries of the world. We could ratify the Treaty of Severus, and today is the day of the 8th anniversary of the ratification, and I congratulate for that occasion. This is a very important fact for us. We achieved this desired ratification during the years due to daily and persistent work, the formation of the government of the Republic of Western Armenia was led after the liberation of Artsakh, and we have adopted the spirit of that liberation victory, and we are guided by that for the established establishment of the Republic of Western Armenia. Emphasized Ms. Lydia Markosyan, the President of the Republic of Western Armenia. Then Mr. President Armenia Gabrahamian continued the session and presented some details on the roadmap meeting of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Western Armenia and informed that the uh, meeting of this issue will take place on July 11 with the leadership of WIPO. On diplomatic platforms, we are continuing the mission started more than 100 years ago. Didier Margosian, as a successor state, Western Armenia is fully competent to ratify the Treaty of Severus as an inheritor state recognized in 1920 by the Supreme Council. This was stated by the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosian, during the meeting discussion of the 8th anniversary of the ratification of the Treaty of Severus. According to her, the way was long and difficult for the ratification of this agreement, but it is about the dignity and rights of an entire nation. Ms. Lydia Margosyan emphasized that the fate of the Armenian of Western Armenian has an historical, legal, and genetic connection with our nation. Leonid Asgaldian, commander of Liberation Army of People of Artsakh and honorary member of the National Council of Western Armenia, said that the land of Artsakh is an inseparable part of Western Armenia. Although he fell on June 21, 1992, his memory is continuing to live in our struggle. We continue this struggle, including at the legal, diplomatic, and political levels, said Ms. President in her speech. More than 100 years ago, the Armenian national delegation headed by Aveti Saharonian is continuing its mission today on diplomatic platform, particularly at the UN office in Geneva. It is for more than 104 years already that Western Armenia has been facing the illegal occupation of its territories. The Treaty of Severus is neither a utopia nor a document substituted by the Treaty of Lausanne, but it is an international legal reality that has the force of law, concluded the speech Ms. Lydia Markosyan. Therefore, the resolution on the issue of Armenia's borders and the process of reliving our history are of vital importance for the President of the Republic of Western Armenia. Bogos Nubar Pasha is an outstanding Armenian public and political figure, a great philanthropist and businessman who for decades led the Armenian people's struggle for freedom and self-determination. Today is the anniversary of his death. A personality who was the son of Egyptian Prime Minister Nubar Pasha. The family was originally from Artsakh. Bogos Nubar was born on August 2 in 1846 in Constantinople. He was educated in Europe, first in Switzerland, then at the Central School of Paris as a civil engineer, having received a professional qualification. Initially, Bogos Nubar worked in France, first in the mines as an engineer, then in railways where he practiced several of his innovations. Then Bogos Nubar moves to Egypt and due to his father's high position, holds responsible positions there. First he was the general director of Egyptian railways, then became the director 
director of English Agriculture Society in Alexandria. However, the field of occupation of Pogos and Barb was not limited to that. He was initiator and the head of several large enterprises in Egypt. Unfortunately, few people knew that Pogos and Barb was also an inventor. He was awarded by the Gold Medal Award and the franchise Chevalier Cross of the Legion of Honor at Paris International Exhibition for the mechanical tractor that he created. The great Armenian later won several more European awards for his inventions. In particular, he won a gold medal at the Milan exhibition and in different years received state awards from the governments of Egypt and Belgium. Apart from being a political scientist, Pogol Snobar is also known as a great philanthropist. He, at the suggestion of Armenian intellectual Yervan Dagaton, founded the Armenian General Benevolent Union. He, in fact, it is the best national structure of the Armenian reality that has ever existed. Charity has a history of thousands of years in Armenian reality. The goal of this initiative of Pogos Nubar is to settle the issue on pan-Armenian problems and to solve them together. It should also be noted that the Armenian Charitable General Union is the first pan-Armenian structure in the Armenian reality. Bogos Nubar was so dear to Armenian nation that they honored him with the name Pasha. The great benefactor and great Armenian passed away on July 26, 1914. The head of Baku continues to distort the reality and appear in the desired civilized light to the international community. With the theme Road to COP29, Sustainable and Continuous Future, the leader of Baku, in the address to participants of the 29th high-level meeting, he noted that he is guided by philosophical thoughts, progressive ideas, universal values and principles of Baku genius poet and thinker Nitsami Janavi. Meanwhile, the government chairman Nakhichevan Panarmian Union notes that, as in many other cases, some questions rise now. The union writes that the Persian poet Nitsami Ganjevi, who was born in the city of Ganzak, and wrote exclusively in the Persian language throughout his creative life only in 1948 with the efforts of the Soviet government turned into a brilliant Azerbaijan poet as it was necessary for Baku state to invent the historical past with the presence of relevant political and cultural figures. Otherwise, it became impossible to prove the existence of the state of Azerbaijan in the past which was on the agenda. Neither the Soviet central government nor the nationalist elite of Soviet Azerbaijan were ready to admit that the state of Azerbaijan was created only in 1918 without a certain level of ethnic self-awareness of the population, says the article. Therefore, the ideas voiced by the dictator of Baku are opposed to the reality in which the region has been living for several decades. The Pan-Armenian Union strongly condemns the destructive statements and calls upon the international community and all individuals and organizations. They cooperated and cooperate with the above-mentioned center pursue the principles and norms of international justice not to be a participant in the crime which is authored by the dictator of Baku in both domestic and foreign policy. Presentation of the first volume of the book was held related to a record book on Armenian issue and genocide archive, Armenian Patriarchate of Jerusalem. This 1,040-page work is a collection of exclusive documents related to the genocide against the Armenians. The archives used by your first were in an unprocessed state, stored in 11 boxes and represent the period of the years of 1912-1922. According to one of the authors of the book, their goal was to create an extensive list of journal where the documents still kept in the first box. We have placed some things taking into account the importance of the material, particularly the Ottoman documents, so that they are quickly accessible to a wide range of people. Added Lucine Sahagian. The famous Italian magazine Vanity Fair Italy covered Armenia. This is reported by the Turin Committee of Eastern Armenia. Italian journalists shared with their impressions during their visit to Eastern Armenia. Our country has been presented as a safe country with rich history and tradition, which deserves more attention from tourists. The journalist wrote, Upon arriving in Eastern Armenia at night, the first thing that I notice here are inscriptions of magnificent alphabet. The language of Indo-European origin is spoken here, but it shares nothing with other languages. The alphabet consisting of 46 letters to which three more letters were added in the following centuries was founded in 405 by Mesop Mashtots and apparently it is one of the most complete alphabet in terms of sounds, so it is very easy for Armenians to learn other languages. They also referred to Armenian monasteries, Armenian cuisine and Mount Ararat, calling it Lost Mountain. 
After four rounds of the European Youth Chess Championship held on the Greek island of Rhodes, the team of Eastern Armenia took sole leadership of tournament. In the fourth round, our chess players defeated the ranking leader of tournament Israel. Emin Ohanyan and Robert Piliposian brought winning points to the team. Let's remind that in the fifth round, our youth will compete against the Polish team. The Armenian team is the leader with 3.5 points. Germany, Israel and Poland are half a point behind. This was all for today. Goodbye.